When Lala Wasika recovers from his vision, he says that he has come with a message. And the message is, I think, a message of revitalization, of restoration for people who've lost their way in the way that he had lost his way. He is a reformed individual. He takes a new name for himself, Tenskwa Tawa, the open door. And the message that he brings, that Indian people can make themselves whole again by rejecting the worst influences that white people have brought to them. It's a powerful chord. It gives people who may have lost hope a new hope. It gives them a direction. It gives them an opportunity to remake themselves, to restore themselves by reviving their Indian culture and identity. Well, the impact is he reforms instantly. He suddenly doesn't drink anymore. And he is preaching to others now that if you want to save yourself, you have to have a personal revolution in your way of life. My children, the Great Spirit bids me to say to you thus. You must not dress like the whites. You must not get drunk. It displeases the Great Spirit. And he formulated a message that appealed to a great many Shawnee, uh, Delaware, Wyandotte, Kickapoo, Potawatomi, because that was their experience at the time. You know, this is a world totally out of balance. And so his vision is the vision for all Native people in a broad way. It's intended for everyone. And as a recovered alcoholic, you know, he could speak to people who had not had that conversion experience, who were still caught up in that cycle of despair. He took the name Thames Quetzal, the open door, which was a way of suggesting that he was a way that you could reach grace through him. He was a doorway to salvation. Friends and family members were astonished by the changes that had transformed Lalawethika almost overnight, and none more so than Tecumseh himself, who all through the fall and winter of 1805 looked on thoughtfully as young men from across the Midwest trooped into their village along the White River in increasing number, drawn by his brother's siren call of renewal, and by his brother himself, who would soon be known simply as the Prophet. <laughs> 